Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope so. Every week, hopefully you guys had a, a okay day. If you guys didn't have an okay day, hopefully you guys uh, stay safe. So uh, you know, look, look at the scoreboard, right? Uh, pretty, pretty ugly indeed. Um, Two thousand points uh, lower on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, first time since uh, two thousand eight, which was the mortgage mess, the whole. Lehman, blah, 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 Arm, um, financial Armageddon. Um, so this is the biggest close, right? We had 7.5% plus, well, minus closes all across the board. Oil down 24, 25%, lowest, you know, biggest move since like 1991, right? When I was 17 years old. So you got just destruction, right? Absolute destruction. Uh, the numbers that we talked about yesterday on the video, this 198, well, if it breaks 198, we go lower. I mean, you know, so everything was on the table, right? Cases of, of Corona popping up everywhere. Uh, anybody, look, anybody who talks is talking about there was no fear, there was fear today, okay? And if that wasn't enough, right? If that wasn't enough, we did something that we haven't done in a very, very long time, uh, which you guys basically saw right at the open, uh, the market, halted for the entire market, right? The market halted for uh, program um, program circuit breakers, right? So when the S&P falls down on uh, 7%, 7% or so, uh, circuit breakers kick in, New York Stock Exchange halts everything, right? Halts everything so the specialists could get um, kind, of, kind of control, not necessarily the fear, but control the initial selling, kind of balance out the book. Um, if there was a second right halt, it would have been down 13%. And the third time, right, there's three circuit breakers. I believe there's 20% uh, 20 prior to 325, I think 325, 330. So we had a lot. We had a lot on the table today. And the, the, the most amazing part was, you know, if you, if you think about, you know, if you think about the word value just from the trading aspect of it, you know, we constantly talk about because that's, that's all we have, okay? We have... Our process, we have our confidence. If you don't have a process, you don't have confidence. And if you know, if I kind of laid out the the framework, kind of the blueprint, what I use in um, a bearish scenario um, type of situation. We talked about the, you know, we talked about it last night in the video on the weekend update. And you know, anytime, like we covered, anytime the market gaps down 500, 600. In this case today, we gap down what 17, 1800 points. We got that halt. Uh, pretty quickly, right? Pretty quickly, the, the market halted. I think at 9:35, and uh, it was halted till 9:49. Okay, um, and if you look at my comments, and just this is weeks and weeks and weeks in comments, you're always going to have the value. Again, when the market gives you an average true range of exaggerated proportions, just like we've had uh, numerous times over the last several weeks, and especially we had today. Again, you saw. Amazon down 130, you know, Netflix was down 27, Tesla was down like 100 and change. So you knew at some point, I kept on, you know, tweeting this over and over again, because again, I, I, you know, I want even the new traders, again, I understand it, it's scary, right? It's scary. You don't know what the hell is going on. You've never seen this before. Only two weeks ago, everybody's pounding their chest talking about buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. Obviously, we know that's all wrong. Um, so you're, you're kind of in a, in a really rough spot. And, and again, the most important thing is this is what I said uh, a day ago. This is what I said yesterday when, they, when I saw the futures down eight, 900 points last night. I said, look, tomorrow's business as usual. Okay. Everybody, uh, you know, everybody sees, you know, everybody sees the same thing every single day in the, in, in, in the live webinar. It's only scary if you don't have a process. Again, if you don't have a process in a bull market, in a rabid bull market, you should stay away. That's why I say it's not the easiest part is buying and selling, right? Clicking the mouse. It's the easiest part. It's, the hardest part is clicking the mouse uh, properly. And I think a lot of new traders have been spoiled by this massive rally. And now we're, you know, you're kind of, you know, taking your your hits, okay? Because again, unfortunately, you don't know anything more than buy the dip. Um, and again, we, you know, we woke up today. We woke up today. Everything was destroyed. And you know, I just kept on. 
just making sure everybody was very calm and just said, look, there's nothing to be, you know, there's nothing to be afraid about. I mean, the, the market, if you don't have any long positions overnight, you're good. Just wait for these channels to develop, just like we do every single day. Maybe they're going to be exaggerated, but wait for these channels to develop. Let them confirm. Take your cash flow on the way up. Use break even. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. And when you look at today's action, it was actually a very good day. I mean, a very, very good day. Um, and again, yeah, you came in long. And number one, why are you long? But number two, again, if you keep on fighting the notion that we are in a bear case scenario, and again, if you look at the cues, and this is what we started talking about in the weekly chart three weeks ago, right? Three weeks ago, we talked about we were just in the middle of the range. Look how much more we have to go down. So, of course, we could have a monster rally like tomorrow for example you know of course we can have a washout tomorrow and the dow rally a thousand 1200 1300 points that's what's normal is right now that's what happens when there's a knee-jerk reaction you know after 30 40 points so for example like you know so for example on the queues you got a high of 238 right we're at 193 you're telling me the queues can't rally back to 201 tomorrow a seven eight point nine point rally of course they can again this is going to give you opportunities. So all you guys, and we discussed this last night in the video, that are still trying to trade off daily charts, forget about them. They're gone. Daily charts to the long size are dead. What chart is quote unquote breaking out? If, if you if you use the word breakout in this market, you're 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 so off that it's incredibly scary. There's no such thing as a breakout, not in a bear scenario. And if you're looking to continuously push the envelope to the downside, eventually, again, if you've been riding to the downside, it's a whole different story. But eventually, if today is your first night, you're going overnight short, just understand how bad the move could be to the upside. And again, doesn't mean that the market can't go lower the next day or the next day the following that. Because again, yes, look how much room we still have to go to the downside, all the way down to the 160. But again, you're playing with fire. In my opinion, again, maybe I'm a little biased, but the only safe haven you have is trading ranges, whether it's to the long side, to the short side, whatever the case may be, at least you're controlling risk based on confirmation of a specific channel. If you're going in overnight, like for example, if you go overnight tonight and say, well, Tesla's going to 550 tomorrow, maybe it's going to 500 tomorrow, maybe it will, right? Maybe it will, maybe it goes back to 700. We don't know, we're not in the guessing business. We're not smart enough or arrogant enough to think that we know exactly what's gonna to happen tomorrow. Like today, for example, you had a destruction in oil, right? You had stocks getting you know, 50% haircuts in oil, Apache, uh, MRO, I mean, all of them, they just destroyed one by one. You could go through drillers, energy, um, anything, anything to do with oil got absolutely murdered today. So again, can they continue tomorrow? Absolutely, right? They could gap down and keep on going lower. They could gap up and reverse and go back lower. They could get washed down and go back higher. We don't know. We can be prepared for everything, but we don't know. And now you're starting to get the really, really ugly ramifications, kind of going back to the 2007, 2008. Look at financials. Again, when was the last time you see Citibank, right? Down 15%. And this is down 15% today. Not from, you know, not from the highs. Citibank has been cut in half, right? Can it still go down lower? Of course. Look at the low here. Look at the low in December when it was at $48. You're telling me tomorrow Citibank can't be at $48, right? So there's a lot of pain there. Anybody who says the market today was sees, still sees no fear, you're delusional. You're absolutely delusional or you're trading some $2 stock for $0.05. Cents. There is a lot of fear. But again, it's not something that we've never come across. That's the whole point. That's what we discussed yesterday in the video. It's If you've seen this before and you've seen it multiple times, whether it was during 9-11 or whether it was during Lehman and the, dot com, and, and the financial mess, yes, is this the best market in the world? No, of course not. But again, you're trying to collect everything you've collected and, and experienced over the last five, six, 10, in my case, almost 21 years, and you're formulating a rational opinion for the trading day. And again, if you're a new trader and all you know is buy the breakout, there is no breakout. So again, you have two choices. Either figure this out the hard way, sit on the sidelines, or tell yourself, look, this is not my lane. I'm okay with sitting it out. It's not about ego. It's not about the markets open. It's all about my survival. And if I want to be an aspiring professional trader 5, 10, 15 years from now, okay, I have to put myself in the most responsible way possible to make that happen. And again, if you look at today's trading, the market had a tremendous, tre and again, I said this, nothing goes straight down. We had an absolute phenomenal spike, absolute phenomenal spike. Once uh, the market started trading again after 9.49 Eastern time, these channels started to play themselves out. And when they did, super duper aggressive. So let's talk about them, guys. Let's talk about what happened today. 
All these prices on the downside, they never came close, right? All these prices on the downside, they never came close. So 1765, none of this. So you can forget about all this. All the value, again, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's rinse, repeat. All the value today was to the upside. So let's talk about the upside, guys. So um, TGNA, I, I don't think it remounted back to 18, did it? TGNA, I wasn't watching it. TGNA, no, never got up to uh, not never got up to the eighteen dollar level. Seventeen ninety eight looks like the high, uh, but check this out. I mean, things got really really aggressive. This thing never got up to fifty one. So Tesla six thirty needs to build experienced traders only. Uh, this was one of the biggest moves. This and Amazon was one of the biggest moves of the day by far. So here was the six thirty, right? Here was everybody see this candle here? Here was the six thirty. Once this thing confirms six thirty. This thing put up a $35 move. Insane. Absolutely insane. Tesla went nuts. Uh, shop 440 needs to build. Again, not a big move on shop, but again, it's the same. It was the same interval as everything else. So here's shop, right? Here's the three, uh, here's the 440, right? Here's the 440 needs to build. Uh, shop went to 446, right into supply. Again, is it the biggest world in the world move in the world? No, but again, it's cash flow. It's really, really good cash flow. Again, Tesla. Take on the way up, right? Again, nobody saw a 35-point move coming. But again, take on the way up. Shop, 440 build. Take on the way up. Again, we're waiting for channels to confirm. You know, we're not, again, scalp everything. That's the whole point, guys. When you're trading channels and you're waiting for them to confirm, scalp everything. Amazon, again, huge move on Amazon. Really, really big move on Amazon. 1813 needs to build. Look at, look at this move on Amazon here, right? Here is the 1813, right? Here was the 1813 right over here, right? 1813. Look at this first candle on Amazon. Went to 1849. This is a 35 point move. These are big, big moves in one interval. Netflix was good. Um, Netflix was a really smooth trade. Uh, I traded it right within 50, 60 cents at the top of the range, which was good. Bought the 350 build. Uh, here was Netflix. Real nice move, right? Here's the 350 build right here. Here was a sneaky pivot right here. 350 build traded right to supply into this. Uh, uh, traded right to supply here. You know, big move. You know, you're talking about it. You're talking about a big, big extension move on Netflix. Uh, that was good as well. So you can see these charts. I mean, once you know, one after one. One, you know, let's go. Amazon move. I mean, these things are all going one by one by one. Great moves. Um, sweet move. Nvidia. Nvidia was. Look, look how big the move was in Nvidia. Okay, just check out this move on on Nvidia. 250, 280, 253 needs to build. Look at look what happened on Nvidia here. So. Right, so here's the 252.53 area. Right, Nvidia literally, literally went right, literally went. Uh, oh, excuse me, it's right here. Sorry, right here. 253. Right, 253. This whole channel here, Nvidia on one candle went to 258. You're talking about a six dollar move on one interval. Again, how much more do you want? Right, like how much do you do you want out of these moves? And the point is, they were going one after another after another. This one kind of sold all off late in the day. This one sold off in the day and obviously never remounted this 80, 7430s. It just went straight down. Uh, I caught Roku pretty well, 101 on that interval right here. Uh, Roku, again, just a scalp trade, but ahead. Look, here is the 101, right? Here is the 101 right here, right? Here is the 101 right here. Hold on, hold on. 101. No, this is 98. What was the 101? Uh, here it is. Here it is. Here is the 101. Gave a nice move. Gave a quick buck. A nice move. Nothing wrong with there. Uh, Qs, look, macro huge number on the Qs. 99.66, bulls need to reclaim. Again, look, look at, look at the, a dollar, you, know, you had over a dollar move in the Qs, right? So here was 99.65, right? 99.65. These things, you know, it almost went to 201. Big move on the Qs. Again, you don't need to be perfect. Just watch the intervals and watch them confirm. Just scalp everything. Again, still valid, right? Still valid. On the move to 101, the video is still valid, and they both exploded, right? They absolutely both exploded. Uh, and I said on the video, 255 potential went to 258. Um, the video just exploded, just absolutely exploded. Um, Qs, here we go. ZM never made it up there. Uh, Roku, I scalped that as well. Killer morning. Uh, Kala, wow, talk about a big move on Kala. Cala, eight dollars if it reclaims can go. L look at Cala. I mean, look at look at the move on Cala, guys. Eight dollars, right? Here's the $8 move. This thing, damn thing went to $8.55. It went to $9. Just a crazy move on Cala. Uh, big number to the downside, right? $6.23, big area. If it builds below, it can flush. Here's a $6.23 on Tesla, right? Here's a $6.23 on Tesla right here. Just destroyed. Got smacked as well. 
It's trading all the way down right now to 606, which is a big, big move down. So again, super aggressive. Look, if you don't trade channels, you're not going to be exposed to this stuff. Okay. It's just, these are facts. If you're trading off daily charts and waiting for magical reverses or magical things, that's great. And I understand I used to be one of those traders. I used to trade off daily charts. I haven't traded off daily charts as my primary focus in times of volatility in a very long time. And all these stocks are damaged. Everything is oversold. Everything's in the middle of the range. Everything is damaged. So you have to find areas of interest that you feel very, very comfortable or risk defined and trade accordingly. For tomorrow, again, there's nothing on a watch list. Look, am I watching the oils for if they gap up, right? Might want to take them green to red. There's a, a thousand oils and drillers and all that stuff. The banks the same way. If they gap up and they go red, you might want to short the banks. If they wash out and go green, uh, wash out and go red, open up down 10, 15 percent, they start going green. Maybe start buying them red to green. But again, you're not going to formulate quote unquote a traditional actionable trading list because everything is damaged. And the most important thing is don't overthink. I'm just tomorrow game plan just like today. If we gap down tomorrow, right? Gap down tomorrow, the value is to the upside. If we gap up tomorrow, the initial value will be to the downside. And again, if the bulls want to stage kind of a dead cat bounce relief rally and go back a thousand to, you know, a thousand points tomorrow, it's all on the table. So you have to be open-minded for everything. But again, don't guess, don't predict. Okay. Just don't anticipate wait for the confirmation guys god bless and i will see you all tomorrow congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading you're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire want daily trade ideas directly from dan straight off his personal watch list unlock our free ps60 vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session Click the link in the description to get started today.